It's here. I just got a delivery notification. It's here. It's finally here. It's taken a couple weeks and I'm very excited about it. And it's here. Shoop. Cool. Found a better lighting setup. Wow. Dang, this is dope. Dang, this is dope, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so this is a 15 millimeter 3.5 Nikon Nikkor AIS lens. Okay, so this is something I've been very excited about for a long time, and it just got here today, and ooh, it's so beautiful. I cannot wait to mount this thing and shoot some footage. Um, I will see you guys after I shoot with this for a week or two. So I just want to take a second to recognize that what I'm talking about today has nothing to do with the technical aspects of this lens or any lens for that matter. This doesn't, I'm not talking about how well this lens deals with chromatic aberrations or, or how sharp it is in the corner or what is the degree of distortion across the frame. I'm not talking about any of those things. I think you'll notice. The thing that I'm talking about is the feeling. When you as an audience member watch moving images shot from this lens, how does that make you feel? To me, that's the most important thing in filmmaking is understanding how tools that you have can elicit a certain response from your audience. That's the whole game. The reason why we as filmmakers learn about lighting, why we learn about lenses, why we learn about production design and color theory is all to enhance the storytelling that we are trying to achieve. Our goal is to manipulate an audience to feel the things that we want them to feel. And I gravitate towards telling a story in wide angle lenses. I'm in love with this lens. So there's a website that actually talks to, that, that catalogs the serial numbers and dates of manufacturing for all Nikon lenses. And the research that I did is uh, between the years of 1981 and 2005, when this type of lens was manufactured, they made 9,000 of these, only 9,000 of these lenses. And from the serial number that I have, I'm guessing that this was made somewhere in the early to mid 80s. So it's about 40 years old. So a couple reasons why I love shooting with wide angle lenses. It requires the camera to be physically closer to your subject to get intimacy. I think an audience can feel that. When I watch films from Terrence Malick or Yorgos Lanthimos, I see myself, the observer of this narrative, close and inside the action. You know they say that shooting with a 50 millimeter lens is, is, is close that we can get optically to the human eye. 
And so when we shoot with a wide angle lens, I think it inherently makes the world feel off kilter or a little bit absurd because our eye simply doesn't see the way that this lens sees. As a filmmaker who's interested in making sort of dark comedic narratives, I think it really leans into the way that I like telling stories. For example, if you look at the works of Wes Anderson, Taika Waititi, you can see how they use wide angle lenses to tell a joke. And here is a really simple example of that. Another thing that's super awesome about this lens I found out totally um, on accident was that while I was sitting in my car, when I placed this on the dashboard, you can see right here, this is a perfect 50-50 medium shot for two people in a car. Um, I was also able to get a single of the driver. These are really great examples of like having wide angle lenses gives you more opportunity as an indie filmmaker to put the camera in places that may be easy to mount or easy to gain access to but hard to frame up. But having something as wide as this gives you the flexibility, the opportunity to shoot at different angles uh, that you normally wouldn't be able to if you had a longer lens. So I guess the moral of the story is when you get a new toy, you get a new lens, you get something new, go out and shoot with it, explore it, try different things and really see what it is that it can do and how it can tell a story. Because remember, the most important thing about all this is no matter what toys you get, lights, cameras, lenses, whatever, the reason that we're filmmakers is to tell a story and everything that we get is to enhance that. And um, I've found that I love wide lenses and this one is a really great one. If you're looking for a relatively affordable, super high quality, wide angle lens, you cannot go wrong with a vintage Nikon. 15 millimeter 3.5 wide angle lenses are not cheap so please be aware when i say relatively affordable it's um relative okay enough gushing about metal and glass thanks so much for watching guys i really appreciate it um please like and subscribe it helps me out a lot can't wait to talk to you next week cheers